Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, me and uh, Olivia are having a little adventure, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're at one of the city parks actually, and uh, what are we looking for today? Pine corn. No, pine pitch. Pine pitch. Yeah, we're gonna check out the pine trees here, see if there's a little bit of pine pitch. Uh, I don't know how much I'm really gonna extract out of here. Uh, might have to go out to the actual bush, but uh, gas prices are pretty high. We're gonna have a little fun adventure. Didn't want to go spend a bunch of hours looking for pine pitch. Um, it's definitely gonna be something that we're gonna be using on our primitive arrows and and a variety of other projects. So, what what do we need to get pine pitch? Yeah. We need some jars to put yeah. the pine pitch in. Mm -hmm. And what else do we need? And then we also need a knife. Nice. But I'm in charge of the knife, right? Yeah, and you're in charge of the jar? Yeah. Okay, so let's go find some pine pitch. Alright guys, so we found a little bit. If you look right here, you can see this resin that's coming out of this. That's that's the pine pitch we're looking for. So, I'm going to take my knife. I'm just going to get off of that. There we go. Nice little chunk right there, so that's a good start. Here, I'm going to put it in your little... Your container? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Pa pass it to your container. Here. Pass it. There we go. Good pine pitch. Yeah. That's pine pitch. Okay. Okay. So there we go. We got our first little bit of pine pitch, right? Yep. Okay. No, no. I might be dead cat. You what? I might eat it. No, we're not going to eat it, but we're going to make stuff with it. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Should we go find some more? Some more. Okay. No, my final. Well, I think we found all the pitch we're going to need today on this tree. Some nice, some nice, big, big, big chunks on here. All running down the side here. Uh, I don't know if you can really see that that clearly, but... That is some solid, solid pitch. But let, let, let's show them how much pine pitch we got. Oh, look at this. We're going to be able to do a lot with that, eh? So Olivia had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Definitely co collected a really good amount of uh, pine pitch in a very short amount of time. So there are going to be some future projects with this. Um, I'm going to learn how to process this the best and I believe I, I uh, melt this down and mix it with charcoal and then I can also attach it to sticks and then I will always have uh, a glue with me that I can use or a good fire starter. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Me and Olivia had a really good time, right Olivia? Right. So we're going to go throw this back in the truck and then we're going to go to the park, right? No. Yeah, we're going to walk there. Hey guys, okay. so back home now. Got a fire started, uh, and we're gonna start processing that uh, pine sap that we had gotten. I know I was saying pine pitch, but I'm making pine pitch. We harvested sap, and I'm making pine pitch. So, got a little fire going. Um, I got a little can here. Obviously, this label is gonna probably burn off. And I filled it up with the sap. I'm just gonna put it place on top. And what I want to try to do is I want to melt uh, that sap down, and then I got. Uh, little metal screen here that I'm going to try to strain it out into. Never done this before, so um, it's all a, a bit of a learning experience. I got some charcoal down there at the side that I'm going to add to this as well. And I got a bit of bacon fat to mix in as well with it. And then uh, I got some, some uh, leaf material that I'm also going to be mixing in uh, for some filler. So we're just going to let this cook up. Um, I had to let the fire die down a little bit. You don't want it to be too hot. This stuff is really, really flammable, so there is a chance this might catch fire. At that point, I'm going to have to try to snuff it out. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to melt this and uh, see how she goes. So the neat thing about pine sap, it has so many different uses. Um, you can use it, at, like I guess we're going to make a glue with it. Uh, it's a great fire starter. It, you can also put it on your wounds. It's going to help you stop bleeding. Um, if, it, if you have a pretty big gash, you might even have to heat it up first. Uh, I know it doesn't sound very fun, but nah. when you're in the bush and you got no other option. Yes. Me too. Wait, you want to be in the camera? Well, come over here. Um, 
so I mean you don't have a whole lot of options so I mean it's good just good to know that you have that oh be careful it's really really hot here okay so um, it's also good for as an uh, anti-inflammatory uh, you can chew it for a uh, tooth pain uh, if you have stomach pain I mean pine sap has so many different uses it's, it's actually pretty pretty wild so anyways, we're gonna let this cook up we're gonna let this melt out and we'll get back to you guys all right see Mama. you can see it's melting pretty nicely so I'm just giving it a little stir I'm gonna put it back up on the fire here let it melt down a little bit more my god that smells good okay so we're just gonna pour the first batch here let's see if I can get you guys down here all right All we're trying to do is uh, strain out all the like the bigger chunks of bark and stuff like that. Don't touch. I might cut. I just have uh, my medicine. I just have my drawer. Yeah. Number. Don't touch this. It's really hot. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I'm just gonna pour the rest on here. All right. Watch out for one sec. Pour. Okay, we're gonna let that drain out, and we're gonna put the next batch in. Okay, okay Olivia, do you want to help me do this? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, just one second. Okay. All right. So, Olivia, mm -hmm. who, who got this one? Dada. No, and who else? Did you help? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, here, you want to put that in, the, in here? No, in here. Just, yep, throw it in. Back, back. Here. Oh, my man. Hold on, kiddo. Yeah. One second. Daddy. Okay, so. My daddy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. There we go. That's it. So we're gonna put this back on the fire. We're gonna melt that one, and uh, we're gonna have ourselves some good pine pitch. Yeah. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. There's some meat. Well, Daddy. We'll see. You'll see what you're gonna do with it. Yes, me. It's really hot though, because you gotta be careful. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys this. I mean, so really, we we really got about this much sap out of all that that we collected. Not bad. As you can see. So, let's see how, uh, Oh yeah, it's still pretty soft, so I was debating if I had to reheat it or not. I don't think so. I think we're good. So I get so I don't really know what the proportions are, but all I know is you gotta put some crushed charcoal in there. So in because I also don't want to put too much of oh yeah there we go it's starting to paste up pretty nicely here oh yeah so I also got some bacon fat basically they say use animal fats or um, beeswax and this will help it uh, make it malleable so easier to work with so let's put them out in here and then they also say to put uh, either deer droppings or some finely grounded up uh, leaves or rabbit droppings, any of those uh, herbivores that basically their droppings are just uh, mainly grass. So me and Olivia actually, 
we had collected up some uh, rabbit droppings here so because if you guys seen my rabbit trapping videos we do have some rabbits that run around the, this yard so there we go some nice filler you can see like the rabbit droppings are basically just a nice uh, powder when you bust them up I think that should be enough but stir it up and see how she looks so yeah as, as she's hardening up she's definitely uh, a little bit easier to uh, put on the sticks and uh, doesn't drip everywhere so So um, like I said, I'm gonna get a couple of these sticks ready, and then I can keep in my pack. And these, like I said, these are great fire starters, like a, a plethora, plethora of other uses for it that I can use when I'm out in the wilderness. And obviously, now that I have this, I'm also gonna find new uses for it. So, so I'm gonna make about a dozen. I'm I'm also going to I'm gonna save some because uh, I'm just going to melt it and use it as I need it. It's actually a pretty decent amount actually. Pretty happy. Well, as you can see, pine pitch is super easy to make. Is it messy? Heck yeah. But it's such a wonderful tool. Such a free commodity. Something that we don't, you know, in our modern life, we, we just don't use these skills anymore and i'm so happy to be able to use skills like this um i'm going to incorporate more into my bush crafting and all that kind of stuff so anyways thanks for joining along guys hope hopefully you guys learned something um if not if you already knew about this sweet thanks for watching and if you're new to this channel and you like this video just check out my other videos if you like them feel free to subscribe uh and if for all the people watching this video if you really like this just give me a big thumbs up uh just t telling me that uh you know you really do like this kind of content but anyways that was fun that was fun to do with olivia it's fun teaching the little ones uh these kind of skills because you know this day and age with the computer age and all this kind of stuff uh, you know there's gonna be a lot of kids that aren't gonna be growing up with these kind of skills so i'm hoping to at least do that for one one tiny person so anyways you guys have a good one, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.